Well, hi there. Today we're in Beckenham Place Park, the largest green space in Lewisham. And we've actually never been here before, so we're looking forward to discovering all of its secrets. Uh, come and take a closer look with us. Welcome to London's Best Parks. Curiously, Beckenham Place Park is divided in half by a railway track, which is kind of funny because when you walk around, it does actually feel like there's two distinct parts to this park. There's this bit, which is all soft and manicured and smooth. It resembles a male model's chest. And this side, which is much more natural, unmanicured, hairy, fluffy almost. It's a bit like Tom Selleck's chest although I guess it sees less birds. But for now, while you take that joke in, we're gonna walk along the river and we're gonna see just what there is to see. As a great poet once said, spring has sprung, newness has begun. Oh my God, how cold is my bum? Really makes you think, doesn't it? So what's your um, favorite part of this park? If you had to narrow it down. Well, I'm really quite very fond of the pond now. Um... I mean, I don't expect them to name it after me. <laughs> In Beckenham Place Park, you can still find preserved the remains of ancient woodland with some really old trees like this oak behind me. And part of it is also this old pond uh, it's a real haven for uh, the local wildlife. You can find uh, the common toad here, as well as ducks, uh, the regular looking ones, and some really unusual ones as well. The iconic mansion in the park has had a very unusual past, ranging from being a boys' school, a sanatorium, which is basically the same thing, a prisoner of war camp, which is basically the same thing, a golf course, and is now a community centre. Like an arts graduate fresh out of uni, it dabbled in many different things without knowing what it wanted to do. You know, I can relate to that mansion, I really can. Uh, yes, it was uh, built in approximately 1790 by John Cater and John Cater was a timber merchant and his father had inherited the business from his father um, and we think now that it was actually used just as a weekend retreat <laughs> because it's not really big enough to be a sort of a permanent country dwelling. So I'm the mansion manager, um, so we've been running this building for four years now and we use it essentially as an arts and cultural centre. This is an ancient area of woodland in, in uh, Beckenham Place Park and it's really nice to walk through. I'm going to show you around. This is a, just a quick 360. See, there's lots of nice woodland everywhere and it's been raining on and off today. We chose a, a lovely day to come to the park. Uh, it's very cold. Um, 
So, so I have sewn Peter's jumper. And she's using it as a scarf. So like continuity nightmare for whoever ed ends up editing this. F future Peter. <laughs> I've had such a wonderful time at the park here today that I have decided to stay here and I built this house. So I guess, Peter, you have to do all the episodes on your own from now on. If you're a fan of outdoor swimming, you're in for a treat. As this park is home to London's first purpose-built swimming lake. So dive right in for a spot of wild swimming. I um, run, well I, I help run the local Facebook group for Beckham Place Park, Dogs and Community is its full name. So I've been coming here, well I initially came before I had a dog, about four, for four years ago, four years. Uh, when it was still a golf course, you know, because the woodlands, you could go and run around and, and explore. <laughs> In these videos, we often look out for cute animals, our favourites being squirrels. Now, I am a squirrel whisperer, and as an avid follower of that religion, it's really nice to see in Beckenham Place Park a statue to our deity, our god, Nutsy. Nutsy the squirrel. And I'm going to take this opportunity to bow down to Nutsy. All hail Nutsy. My name is Lewin. I'm one of the two owners of the Homestead Cafe in Beckenham Place Park. What would you recommend on the menu? What's what's your the top dishes? Um, I'm big into the pizza, but I'm also a real beer head, so we do some really good beers here, yeah. local breweries. We've got the best beer garden in South London, in my opinion. <laughs> Certainly the biggest. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Lunchtime. I'm tired and hungry. Had a lovely day so far, but yeah, it's time to eat. Um, as you've just seen, we went into uh, the Homestead Cafe. We were shown all around. We got to see them make um, some food, and uh, now we get to try it. We also got a vegan pizza to try. This is the Yeah, yeah, there's there mushrooms. Yeah, there's yeah. artichokes, there's olives, and there's. It looks great. Oh. I'm very excited about this. Uh, this here is a vegan brioche. It has a homemade bean patty, some mushrooms, some spinach. I'm melting. No, um, Irish, used to the rain, it's okay. But we do have a lot of equipment with us, most of which can't really get wet. So we're taking shelter under this tree. Okay guys, we are now back home. Um, yeah, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody we met in Beckenham Place uh, Park today. So yeah, you guys are absolutely legendary. Um, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to meet us. Thank you for the food. It was absolutely fantastic, wasn't it, Jen? Yeah, it was great. Um, uh, big thanks to everyone. <laughs> Do you have a good time? I had a really good time. And yeah, you know, we normally do the wrap-ups in the park themselves, but uh, the rain came on really, really strong, and uh, we had lots of equipment with us and we didn't want to get soaked. So we made a dash down to the station and got home and that's why we wanted to do it here but we just didn't want to 
finish uh, a lovely day without saying thank you to everybody who made this video really special. And um, to you guys watching at home, thank you so much. And next time we're going to be going to. Bye. You're on camera, not me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>